I smile, I laugh, and motivate. Motivate. Born in the struggle, I know what it takes. That's why I smile, laugh, and motivate. I chill them with unity, smile at the real, but the ones that was haters will never be granted immunity. Work with the willing, but who I can slack in the sink and this shit, it ain't new to me. I'm living this life, keep my mind in the sky, I'm Achilles the guy when I motivate. So tell me who motivates. Woo! Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B. And welcome back to the Jess B Show. 2022 has been an amazing time for me. Uh, I got a new management team. Shout out to American Monster Guild. Devin, Sharmila, everything that they do for the team. Um, man, shout out to True Head Vibes and Ninja Karaoke at 1009 uh, South Main Street. That's downtown Las Vegas. I do artist interviews there. It's been amazing. I've reached Paris this year. Um, I've reached Canada. And now I'm in the UK and Mexico. <laughs> seeing that that's where my guest is at. <laughs> Welcome to the Just Me Show. How are you guys doing? We're brilliant. And just straight off the bat, I just love your energy. And thank you so much for having us here tonight. We, we're we really grateful. You are yeah, very super welcome. Buzzing. Super yes, buzzing. Yes, yes, yes. It's an English thank slang you. term, buzzing. But yeah. Buzzing? To be here, mate. I'm, yeah. I'm going to start using that word. <laughs> <laughs> we're buzzing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm stealing that from you for sure. <laughs> you can have it, mate. For free. Awesome. <laughs> So, like I was telling you both uh, behind the scenes, it's about self-love, unity, and progression. I just kind of want to know where you come from, what you're doing right now, and where you plan to go. And then we can motivate the people together. Are you guys okay. cool with that? Absolutely. We, we're good with that. Awesome, Ladies awesome, first. awesome. Ladies first. So, do me a favor and just tell them a little bit about who you are, Kylie, what you do. So I'm Kylie, I'm from the Freedom Coaches and Dean down here is my business partner. He's also happens to be a pretty good looking friend. So I mean, it, it all worked out all right, didn't it? Um, but unity is a big part of why I definitely wanted to reach out to you and be a part of this because um, Freedom Coaches is made up of three of us. The other one isn't here, um, Jamie. But Dean, Jamie and I met on a course and became friends and started a podcast, actually. And it was through that podcast and talking that we realized that we had a shared vision and we wanted to do similar things. And we created the Freedom Coaches, which is a coaching and training platform helping new business owners or people that want to be business owners start their companies we want to see other people thrive we want to see other entrepreneurs get started and start living their dreams the businesses that they've wanted to create and we want to be a tiny part of their journeys wow um so that unity thing was really big for us because we come from a coaching industry and it, and it sounds quite glamorous but it's actually right. quite hard to yeah. get yourself established. And I'm lucky because I've had two business partners that have held me accountable, that have been my support, that have been my mm -hmm. momentum. And we know more than anyone that without that support, it's really hard to get very far. That support means everything. So yeah. Yeah. even the littlest bit of support from the most random people at times, it can be, you can be walking down the street and a stranger just you know hey i want hey i like that song is that you or whatever the case may be that little bit of support every to everybody that's watching matters be supportive especially to the people you love be supportive men next <laughs> yeah so i mean lady i mean kylie's said it eloquently more so than i could but also going away from that is that even if you don't have a team or a, a, you know maybe you're in business on your own we've really i mean i think it's become apparent to most people around the planet the last couple of years that community is everything and even if you're on your own you're single or you're a bit you know a lone band in business that you can you can tap into all these different communities and you don't have to go it alone and following up from what you said you know like live in such a negative world mostly and for some people listening to this, they're like, 
what people walking down the street complimenting you like why mm -hmm. would they do that and i think we've kind of lost sight of that i think as maybe cities have grown too big and we as like a civilization have kind of just expanded at such a fast rate that we've lost that essence of community yeah. and i think yes. like these podcasts our our community our coaching kind of is at the heart of the fabric and it kind mm -hmm. of connects people in ways that you might not realize until after or never but that's the magic right. of it and it's unity, unity and community is so important so important. it really is it's something that you said you said that it's it's like it's almost like it's so easy to just choose negative yeah you know like people just are kind of drawn to that even the entertainment industry um you know you people the negative stuff people want they want to see it social media they want to see it but the positive stuff doesn't transcend the same way that's the, that the negative things do so i always tell everybody and it's a hashtag that i use it's like hey positive vibes keep you energized that's how i'm able to keep going negative energy drains me you know negative oh he we lost dean it's all right it's all right he'll come back okay. but I'm here. all right all right yeah but you know in negative energy um it, it will drain you so yo be positive positive vibes keep you energized don't ever forget that guys really so kylie how what made you even get started in coaching in the first place same sort of story as Dean and Jamie. Um, I've actually been working in the corporate world for about 14 years. And I was going to work just to pay the bills. I wasn't the, I had lost the meaning and any satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And it was just one of those moments of, you know, what am I doing? Am I really going to do this for another 14 years? Go to work and be miserable where I could go find something that's going to put a smile on my face and where I want to get out of bed every day and where I'm doing some good and I'm putting back. And yeah. so it was a no brainer when I finally got to that sort of light bulb moment, found coaching, realized I could use my old skills, but as well mm -hmm. as developing new skills and turn it into something. Right. Yes. That's that, that is awesome. And, and let me tell you, let me say this. Um, I, I love what you guys do. <laughs> you know, and, and it's, it kind of goes hand in hand with um, motivation in a, in a way, you know, and like, yeah, it really does. Because I always try to motivate everybody to like, hey, just get up and do something. <laughs> even if it's, it's even if it's a small thing, take a chance, take a leap of faith, you know. So so what are some of your coaching um, techniques, so to speak? Don't give us your secrets. But just a couple of things. What are some coaching techniques that you use to get people to want to, you know, uh, take a risk on themselves? I would say there's quite a few different um, techniques. Um, you can look into what's called reframing, and that's basically a, a massive perspective shift. So it's changing. It's getting out of your own head, basically, and seeing situations from different points of view. And there's many different techniques and ways to do that we use what's called nlp which stands for neuro linguistic programming and nice. those who don't know about it happens media politicians it's it's a way to converse a message through language and the power of language so we mm. do a lot of visualizations we we hold people accountable i mean it, it may sound very simple but just asking people what have they done that week what came up for them mm. What are they struggling with? What were the challenges? And holding space. I mean, I was talking about earlier about a society that's gone off the path a little. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of people are, are good talkers. They're brilliant talkers. Yeah. But are they good listeners? And I think mm. being a good coach is just being able to give someone that space to offload and explore. Because, you know, you could have a conversation at a party or something and you talk, oh, I'm not having a great time with my my girlfriend, and they'll jump in and say, oh, something happened with me, and I know exactly how you feel, and the conversation gets hijacked, rather than just mm. listening and resonating and just holding that space, which is what we as coaches, you know, you have to be a good listener to be a good coach. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Do you guys, uh, or do, have you guys ever came across a situation where, or do you guys like coach coaches? 
Like, have you came across somebody that it was kind of difficult to coach because they were also a coach? They kind of like felt like they knew it all or <laughs> had all the right answers. I just recently came into a situation like that where um, someone asked me for my assistance and I tried to assist them, but then they act like they knew they had all the answers. So I was kind of stuck in a spot where I didn't know how to how to help them. Has that ever happened to you? No, I can't say it has, but if it Lucky. did, I think that would that would be a question of get like, using reframe and sort of using your emotional intelligence, like the awareness of, okay, so why has this person really come to you? Was it because they wanted your help or did they just need to hear their voice heard? And I think just asking some com some questions having real honest communication about it even if it is something along the lines of not so that it's aggressive and that you're going to get into a negative conversation but mm -hmm. maybe even if it is just outright saying hey you know you wanted to hear about x y and z but i'm i'm it's in my opinion but i'm getting the feeling that actually you 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 don't want this advice that this isn't sitting with you right like and maybe that you're not quite interested. Like, mm -hmm. is this right? Am I picking this up right? Or am I reading this situation wrong? So I'm just off the top of my head, but actually opening up a conversation and some communication about that is where I would go. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. That, well, and thanks for the advice. <laughs> and just to add to that, mate, just to add to that, it's almost like if I were to ask you right now, mm -hmm. you could have all the knowledge in the world about a subject. But if I were to ask you, can you see your own blind spots? What would Ooh. you say? That was, I, I think I can. But then I think my next question is, is why do I allow them to continue to be blind spots if I can see where they're at? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but then we've got maybe but it some just goes to show you. Yeah, yeah, that was a great question. Yeah, I think I might have my next co-host. <laughs> and then from that, if you can see them, but you continue to do them, are we looking at some fear, some doubt? Do we need to get over a hurdle? So it's about what, so what is holding you back then and how do we move forward from that? That is good. Y'all, hey, all my fans out there, listen. These are my coaches. Make sure you go tap in with them. <laughs> this is the <laughs> These are some great questions. I know who I'm going to go to for my next few interview questions. <laughs> for sure. So besides being great coaches, because that was amazing, and that was only a little bit that we all got uh, had a chance to, uh, to witness. Besides coaching, what do you guys do? What else? Do you got hobbies? Do you have fun? What are some things that you do? Do you know, do you have fun anymore? No, of course we no. do. We're stars, we love what we do. Um, and I am slightly married to it at the moment. I'm not going to lie about that. But, um, I mean, for me, it's just the basics. When I've got some downtime to spend time with friends, family, things like yoga and swimming are kind of like my happy place for just me. So making sure that I get that sort of downtime. But... Yeah, just making sure that I get to embrace time with friends and family. Even spending time with Dean and Jamie, obviously, on a social note would be pretty <laughs> Still working. Still working. <laughs> Absolutely. There's no rest what about for the you, wicked. Dean? Um, yeah, so like when I'm not working, I like to go to the beach. I've just gotten into tennis, so I'm playing a lot of tennis at the moment. So that's that's pretty cool to learn something new. I'm not too bad. I'm more of a table tennis player. So the, the, the transfer of skills is still there. You know, you're holding a racket kind of bat thing. So yeah, loving the tennis at the moment. And uh, yeah, beach, chilling out. Yeah, I, I used to That's like cool. a drink, but these days I'm, I, I'm, my focus needs to be on this business. So yeah, yeah just right. hanging out, beach, yeah. chilling. That's friends, cool. A joke or now, two. Bit of backgammon now, as well. I do love a right. bit of backgammon. I want to squeeze. Oh in. yeah, I yeah I can't. Game. I can't play tennis. I can't play backgammon. <laughs> I can't play basketball. 
Um, I can do some dodgeball or something like that. I'm good with that. <laughs> but um, you know, so to just to tap on, we kind of we kind of touched on it a little bit just now, but now we're gonna really dig into it because it's very important that um, even as coaches, we have to make sure that we take care of ourselves. We have to be good. We have to eat right and things of that sort. So. Number one big question of the of the tonight show is how do you practice self love? How do you really make sure that Kylie and Dean is okay before they can? Your cup has to be full before you can pour into anybody. Yeah, absolutely, and that's something that we say um, to our clients. So nice. for me, it's making sure that mentally I've got someone to talk to, whether that's another coach or just making sure that I pick up the phone to a friend but making sure when there's times that you know it's, it's stressful overwhelming that I've got someone to talk that through and um, I very much like to sort of practice like mindfulness so in terms of a bit of hypnosis or meditation and I really like my yoga and do you know what sometimes the simplest things because I'm I don't have children so obviously I'm not like some of the mums out there that are running around trying to get kids you know to bed and dinner and whatever but for some people, even if you just get 15, 20 minutes to go grab a bath and then yeah. it's your time, like yeah. even if you want to do nothing, whether you want to sit there and read, whether you want to just put on some relaxed music, but if you can go grab 15, 20 minutes, go grab a bath. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Dean, I know you play backgammon and you're into tennis, brother, but how do you make sure Dean is okay? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, because I travel a lot, so I'm not at home. So I do like my home comforts, and I think that relaxes me. So to switch off, one of the best things I love to do is go to the cinema. It's it's like the phone goes off, it's dark, it's loud. I'm, I'm kind of transported into someone else's life for two hours. So that for me is like, okay, that's just disconnect. I think for me, disconnecting is important. I would say also is... Yeah, not get. I, I find myself being sucked into work and, and the tasks that I do. So just reminding myself, disconnect. How productive are you going to be when you're right. when you're like kind of running on fumes? Exactly. Chill out. Flip the laptop down. Relax. Take it easy. Go to the beach. Enjoy the simple things. Right, the free yes. things in life. Yes. Yes. Not expensive. You know, I don't have a bath. But I could go for a quick shower. But other than that, yeah, it's cool. It's just whatever, you know. I'm, you know, but it's important. It's super important, especially for those high achievers. Yes. The, the the switch to turn off doesn't seem to be working, and it's faulty. So they're just running around, running around like in English we'd say a blue ass fly. They're running around like a lunatic, like a headless chicken, and then they're burnt out and they suffer as a result for months right. and months and. They're losing time. They're not gaining anything. So, yeah. yeah, switching off, disconnecting, relaxing. Do the things you love to do. Be happy. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I hope that all of you out there heard everything that Dean and Kylie has said. Yo, self-love is very important. Um, if you've been watching my show for the last 18 months, you already know what it is. Like, I did not love myself for a long time. I didn't do things to make sure that I was good. But then when I started to this was born <laughs> and everything that I'm accomplishing was possible because then I then I was able to extend my brain capacity and my thought process to even be able to think that far ahead <clears throat> and really attach myself to success that's what I call it and um so self-love is very important take time for you everybody please do now unity we've been discussing unity all in all this whole entire conversation so i'm actually going to go to progression i want to know how far do you guys as the freedom coaches plan to take this thing what what's your end goal what do you really want to see it end up becoming um wow well there's two sides of our business so the first one is working with new business owners and business owners to launch their business, set up their business, scale their business. And then the other side of it is working with companies on their uh, company culture. Um, and that's, that's particularly my baby. And for me, 
to be able to make my mark on how companies treat their employees so that people aren't just numbers um, and people can go to work and be happy and thrive and at the same time obviously companies need their employees to be productive and they need to see performance but if we can get to a place where mental health is genuinely spoken about without you know that awkwardness i would love to get to a position where saying hey i'm going to go spend half an hour with my coach or my therapist is the same as if you were going to the gym like i i feel like we should treat our minds the way we do any other muscle in our body we go to the gym or we go somewhere i don't know to yoga or do like tennis to look after our bodies but we don't look after our minds and to be able to have a dent on that and promote company culture where we look after each other's minds and that's the way forward would be magic. Like that would be the ultimate legacy for me. It's gonna happen. It's go I can see the passion in your eyes. We're, like, we're making waves, slowly but yeah. surely, but we're making waves. Yes, it will definitely happen. Dean, I know, Dean, I know, you scrapped, oh, he left. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. it's, yeah, it's Next all good. He's not treating him well with his connection. Yeah, it is, it is okay. Um, so, but the very last thing I want to say is, um, and I'm, I'm, I hope he jumps on so I can tell him too, but I'll tell you, I'm proud of you. I, I really am to even, to even be able to, to handle, um, I know it can be hard being a coach, you know, I really do. And you're a coach and a, and a mother, correct? No, no, I'm not. No, no. Oh, oh, no, no kids? No kids. Oh, no kids. Husband? No, but if anyone wants to volunteer, <laughs> please leave my All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, well, okay, well, then, then still, I'm, I'm super proud of you for even, um, shoot, loving yourself enough to be able to pour into others. You know, don't ever quit doing what you're doing. Don't quit doing what you're doing because, look, I know a lot of people. This goes for you too, Dean. Proud of you, brother. Don't ever quit doing what you're doing. I know a lot of people. I don't know people in Mexico or the UK. <laughs> I did interview one guy in Mexico City, though. <laughs> but if you guys quit, I'm going to come find you. I'm that kind of I'm that kind of supporter. I'm that kind of motivational speaker. I'm that kind of friend. I want all of my friends to win. At the end of the day, I want us all to win. And then I want us all to win while doing the things that we really love doing, you know? So don't ever quit or I'm gonna come knock on the door. And I'm gonna be like, Kylie, Dean, get your ass up, let's go. <laughs> it's time to go to motivate the world. Let's go motivate the people. Let's coach these companies, these brands. Let's coach everybody to do their best possible best possible before i ask you the very last question you got to tell everybody because i know my my audience and even more people from the people that you reach are gonna want to know how can they find you how can they get your services go on day so we've got a website www.thefreedomcoaches.com um but we're also on facebook we're on instagram we're on linkedin We've got this Facebook community that you can contact us, but you know, you can search for us on Facebook. I'm D. This is Kylie Harrell. So yeah, there's multiple ways to find us, but you know, the website will we'll put uh, alongside this show and yeah, feel free to reach out to us as a friend. If you want a bit of advice, a bit of support, just let off some steam. We're, we're here, you know, this is what we're doing. This is, this is we want to, we want to encourage that so that we pass yes. it on to someone and they pass it on to and that mentality that philosophy continues as we go so it spreads good yes. positivity and good vibes about we want to raise yes i love it i love it i love it make sure that everybody out there goes follow like subscribe if they have little the submission forms to fill out fill it out show them some love um you know i support everybody all over the world and i love when some people support me so if you're a, if you're i call my audience my fans team just be so team just be if you're watching this right now and you support me i want you to support them 
get help you know get the help get some coaching whatever you need to do and before we get off we have to motivate the people so the last question always is if you have one piece of advice to give to everybody in the world what a piece of advice would that be ladies first I am going to feed this into the self-love part of this conversation. And it would be every now and then, maybe once a month, set a date, put it in the calendar, even put a time next to it. Tuesday, the 11th of March at, I don't know, 2 p.m. I want you to ask yourself, are you happy? What you're currently doing, is it serving you? And if neither of those answers are a yes, then make some changes. Mm. Ask yourself what will make you happy, what you are looking for. And if your current situation, be that job, relationship, situation, isn't serving you, then what would? So two simple questions, but check in with yourself with those questions on a regular basis to make sure that you're going in the right direction. I love, I'm going to oh, be doing that. <laughs> I, and that was amazing. Thank you, Kylie. I am going to be doing it for sure. My man. And me, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I would say this is if you've got an idea, if you've got something that, you know, dreams, ambitions, goals, desired outcomes, just go out there and do them. I would say perfection is a dream killer. If you're waiting for perfection, you'll be waiting forever. And get your stuff out there. By doing something is better than doing nothing. So if you get your ideas out there, you just take one step in front of the other. As we say, like imperfect action wins every time. So just take the action, make mistakes, revel in that, embrace the mistakes, learn from them. There's no such thing as failure, only feedback, and just move forward. All you got to do is face the right way and it's literally step by step by step baby steps big steps depends about your life what you you know what's what priorities you've got if you've got big commitments but literally take the action action is better than no action and yeah just get it out wow. there get it out there into the world and perfect it later no problem that was amazing. And I want to thank the both of you again for coming on to the Just B Show. I'm all the way in Las Vegas, Nevada. You guys are in UK and Mexico. Wow. I'll be there one day. Um, I can't say it soon. <laughs> well, if we're in Las Vegas soon, I know who will be hitting up straight away. Yes, Absolutely. yes. You guys can come to the studio. I'm in the studio now. Um, you guys can come to the studio and we can do the live studio interview. That's always a better connection. And you guys are welcome to come on the show at any time. You have the link to fill out the form and all of that good stuff. And then, um, yeah, let's get to the last pieces of motivation for me. And everybody already know what it is. And it goes a little something like this. I need you to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. Inspire one to inspire all and last but not least i need you to just be the best version of your goddamn self be comfortable doing it and then show others show others how to do it i love you guys all and we're out of here Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.